a mechanic is pushing a vehicle. It's pushing a vehicle from rest and it accelerates to a final speed V. Now it is coming from rest. He does 5,000 jaws in the process. So this is the, the work done in the process of pushing the vehicle. Now during this time, the car moves 25 meters. If the friction force between the road and the car is negligible, A, find the final velocity V and B, the applied horizontal force. So we are going to find the velocity, the final velocity that is reached when the car moves this distance or this displacement and also the, the horizontal force that is applied as he pushes um, as he pushes the, the vehicle. So from this, we want to find the value of velocity. And we know that force, first let us begin by collecting the data. So we have um, mass, 2,500 kg. We have um, Initial velocity, zero. We have final velocity, which we do not know. It's the, what we are looking for. Then we have this one, the energy that is done, which is in moving. Yeah, when something is moving, the, the energy that is possessed by that object is kinetic energy, which is 500. 5,000 joules, then we have um, distance, which is 25 meters. What else do we have? I think this, uh, this, this, this information is sufficient for us to, to find uh, the, the velocity. So we know that, let's do, we can now go to solutions, that kinetic energy is given by a half mv squared, of which we know that kinetic energy is this one, 5,000, which is half times 2,500 v squared. So this one, so if we multiply through by 2, to get rid of this, we're going to have 2 times 5,000 is going to give us 25,000 v squared. So we can divide it through by 2,500 uh, also by 2,500. So this and this will go and we're going to have v squared is equal to so this one we are going to have room on top 10,000 over 25,000 which is just four, and um, so this squared is equal to four. So V will be just a square root of this, so that V will be two meters per second. So this is the velocity, the final velocity. Now. We are also going to find the horizontal force. The horizontal force. So this is A. Now, B. For the horizontal force, we know that work is equal to force times distance. Force times distance. So which, we know that since we want the force, we can make uh, if the subject from here. So by simplifying by D, dividing also here by D, so that this and this will go. And we are going to have F is equal to, so this one over G. And from this, we have um, the work. We have 5,000. Then here, we have 200. Oh, we have 25 liters. So what we're going to get is 25 into 50, which is 2, then 0, 0, 
units for force? Newtons. So this is the value for the horizontal force that the mechanic must apply in order to move the car from rest to this final velocity, which is 2 meters per second. And so this is the value of the force that must give um, this mass uh, 2,500, a velocity of this when this force is applied.